Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will show you how to create a 3D cube text effect using Photopea. So open your browser and then type photopea.com, enter, click new project, click print, and I will choose A4 and I will change the name to 3D cube text effect and then create. So I have a quote here from LeBron James, our select and copy the first line and then click this type tool and then click on the page and then press ctrl v now you have the text here and then press ctrl and scroll up and then press the space to of it here now increase the text size by dragging the corner and then click the type tool again. I will click here, backspace, enter. I will make it three lines here. All right, and then uh, Control A, and then click this right alignment. Okay, and then I will duplicate. Now click here and press Control J to duplicate. So now we have two layers. And then I will copy the second line of this quote. Double click here. And then Ctrl V. Ctrl A, I will make it left alignment. Click the move tool to move it here. And then I will duplicate Ctrl J. Double click here and Ctrl V, LeBron James. And then click here, right click and rasterize. Click here, right click and rasterize and also do it for the last layer. Okay, after it rasterize, it will be an image, not a text. So now press your Ctrl button and then I will move it down like this and also this one okay I will move it here and then click the move tool now move it here but before you do everything that I show here make sure that it is checklist the transform control okay Transform control is this uh, this box. You can see here, the blue box. Now move it here. And you can also drag a line guideline here. I will move it here. Now press control button. And move it here. Okay. And then click the move tool. And I will drag this LeBron James. And then I will increase the size. And I will rotate. So this line is parallel with the succeed line. Okay, I will place it here. Press your control button and drag it here. And I saw this one here. All right, now click the move tool. Now let's uh, add some color. But first I will separate this a little and this one slide to the left so click this LeBron James and then go to layers and click layer style and click gradient overlay and then I will move it here so I can see the text here and then click here on the gradient and then change the color I will change it to this yellow and then I will keep it white and click OK and click OK now select the succeed before that I will select this background and then layer layer style and color overlay and then click here if you want to change but I will make it black OK and then click OK click OK 
Now select the succeed and then click layers and new style, layer style I mean, and then click gradient overlay. Click here, I will change it to this purple. Click OK. Click OK. And then I will move the white gradient to here, the center. So move the angle. All right. And then click OK. Now the don't be afraid. Layer and layer style and click gradient overlay and click here and I will change it to this gray okay and then click okay and, and I will move the angle here all right now click okay now select this three press your shift button and click here so you select the three the three layer I mean and then I will increase the size. All right. And then click the background and click the bucket to remove it. So we have transparent background here. And I think I made mistake. So just click here on the don't be afraid and click layers and layer style, gradient overlay. And then I will move the angle here. Now click OK and then go to file and then export as PNG or PDF or even as PG. I will choose PNG and then click save. So this is the tutorial. See you next video and have fun.